Hello guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, we will consider an integral from 0 to 1, 1 over x to the a x to the b dx, which would equal a sum going from 0 n equals 0 to infinity a to the n over n b plus 1 to the n plus 1 power. So let's start with rewriting our integral as an integral from 0 to 1 x to the negative a x to the b dx, which we can rewrite as an integral from 0 to 1 e to the negative a x to the b ln x dx. And now we will use a formula e to the x equals the sum going from n equals to 0, from 0 to infinity, x to the n over n factorial. We will apply it here, and what will we get? We will get an integral from 0 to 1, a sum going from n equals to, from 0 to infinity, minus a x to the b ln of x, everything raised to the power of n and everything divided with n factorial dx. So what will happen now? We will take the sum and a and n in the front as their constants with respect to the integration. So we will have a sum running from n equals 0 to infinity minus 1 to the n a to the n over n factorial times an integral from 0 to 1 x to the n b ln of x and that ln is to the power of n dx alright now let's introduce a substitution in this integral our goal now is to solve this integral Let's introduce a substitution, x equals e to the negative t. When we apply ln on both sides, we get t equals minus ln of x. And our differential is dx equals negative e to the negative t. And so our integral becomes, when we plug in, when we plug in 0 here, we get uh, negative infinity, but, but we have minus in the front, so we get an infinity to 0. When we plug 1, we get 0. We will have what? e, sorry guys, e to the negative t and b, and we will have ln e to the negative t everything raised to the power of n and our differential we have dt here will be minus e to the negative minus minus e to the negative t dt which when we solve we will use the minus to flip the boundaries so we will have an integral from 0 to infinity we will multiply e to the negative t here so we will have sorry so we will have e to the negative t and b minus t and e to the neg ln of e to the negative t is just negative t to the power of n dt. And we need to solve this integral. This looks like a gamma function or something. So let's make it that way. We will take minus t in the front and factor it we will have nb plus 1 in the brackets and so that will be our substitution here which, will, which equals k but let's make it just t that multiplies nb plus 1 equals k I won't change the other things dt equals dk over nb plus 1 we will, we will take out negative 1 to the n in the front 
uh, when we plug in 0, we get 0. When we plug infinity, we get infinity, so this doesn't change. Um, this expression can be rewritten as minus minus t or just a minus <coughs> of minus t and b plus 1 or t and b plus 1 whatever you want to call it and so we will have e to the negative k we need t here so we will have t equals k over n b plus 1 so we will have k over n v plus 1 to the power of n, of course, and our dt is just dk over n b plus 1. What we have now is minus 1 to the n, an integral from 0 to infinity. Sorry guys, I will take out the constant in the front. This is a constant. So we will have nb plus 1 to the power of n plus 1. And now we will have an integral from 0 to infinity e to the negative e to the negative k k to the n dk. And what is this? This is a gamma function. Gamma function is defined as an integral from 0 to infinity e to the negative x, x to s minus 1 dx. In our case, we have s minus 1 equals to what? To n. So s equals to n plus 1. And, and and that's what we get. So, and gamma of gamma of n plus one is n factorial. So what we so what will we have? We will have minus one to the power of n over n b plus one to the power of n plus one times gamma sorry guys, times gamma of n plus 1. So what we get? We get minus 1 to the n times n factorial over n b plus 1 to the power of n plus 1. Alright, we solved our integral and that's what we got. Now Let's plug it back in into this expression. So what we have here is a sum. Let's take another paper. This is a sum of what, let's see, minus 1 to the n a to the n, minus 1 to the n a to the n. We have probably n factorial here. And let's see, n factorial, and now we need to copy the thing we got. Minus 1 to the n, times minus 1 to the n, times n factorial, over nb plus 1, to the power of n plus 1, and we had this sum going from n equals 0 to infinity. And what we have here, is that at minus 1 to the n times minus 1 to the n cancels out. I mean, we, you get that minus 1 to the 2n is always, is always positive. And factorial and, and, and factorial cancels each other out. So we have a sum going from n equals 0 to infinity. a to the n over nb plus 1. to the power of n plus 1. And that's we what we wanted to show. But let's take a notice that we can get something pretty interesting from our result. This, this was an integral of x to the ax to the power of b 
dx. If we let a equals 1, b equals 1, what will we get? We will get the sum of 1 over n plus 1 to, to the power of n plus 1, which will equal an integral from 0 to 1, 1 over x to the x dx. This sum goes from 0 to infinity. But we can write this sum as a sum. We can uh, swap the index as a sum going from n equals 1 to infinity, 1 over n to the n. That's it, guys. That was it for this video. Like, share, and subscribe if you want to see more of this. And see you in the next video. Bye, guys.